turmoil as Edmonongagua Pampers Army and police officers ahead of 2023 watershed elections. Teachers' unions have slammed government over the selective remuneration of its workforce following the controversial awarding of a 400% pay hike to the military and police. Teachers are currently the lowest paid civil servants, earning around ZW $36,000 plus a US$120 foreign currency component. The selective pay hike for security forces comes as teachers had rejected a 50% increase on their local currency wages during the National Joint Negotiating Council meeting last week. Albert Maseraor leader of the highly vocal amalgamated rural teachers union of zimbabwe r2s slammed government for selectively applying standards the 50 percent offered to other civil servants including teachers as a joke unfortunately we can't laugh it off because families are starving we will not allow government to discriminate against any section of workers to that end, we shall force the employer to pay teachers a living wage. 1260 United States dollars is the minimum demand from teachers. Soldiers have guns but we have our collective force as workers. The government is warned not to keep on stretching our patients. They will be faced with a tsunami of workers' protests, said Masera or Raymond Majangwe. Secretary General of the Progressive Teachers Union of Zimbabwe, PTUZ, said it was unacceptable that teachers got the short straw in terms of salary negotiations while they were facing the same economic challenges as members of the army and police. We don't challenge that soldiers have been paid. We celebrate that at least somebody has realized that soldiers are being underpaid but then why then cherry pick and choose soldiers over the teachers? Why not give us the same? Remember in the past, teachers were the first to be paid. They have turned it around. They have paid the soldiers first, they have paid the police, they have paid the nurses and teachers who come last in that rank and file. That is unacceptable, said Majangwe. Zimbabwe Congress of Public Sector Trade Unions, ZCPSTU, Organizing Secretary. Charles Chinosangwa described government selective awarding of 400% wage increase to security forces as a futile divide and rule tactic capable of bringing ruin to the education sector. As teachers, we say the government's divide rule won't work. They are killing the education sector and Zimbabwean education teachers will give them half-baked learners. As teachers, we remain incapacitated and report for work two to three days per week, while waiting for bigger action, said Chino Sengwa. The government's decision to award soldiers and police 400% wage increase is seen as an attempt to keep the loyalty of the security forces commonly used as the last line of defense against a government that faces public anger over a slew of failures. Norton Independent Member of Parliament Temba Maliswa also questioned attempts by President Emerson Manangagwa to please members of security sector ahead of elections. It's clear we are going towards the elections and GVT wants to make the security sector happy. I don't know if this will make them happy and forget how long they have suffered before this. When elections are done they will be back to square one. Maliswa tweeted.